Hello and thank you for joining us again this week. My name is Chris Downer, the founder and creative director of Cuff4.com. This week we're going to look at some of the basic styles of men's dress shoes. Sounds simple, right? Well, actually there are quite a few variations of men's dress shoes and it is important to know the details so that you can make the right decision that's best for you. Believe it or not, oftentimes your shoes can either make or break your outfit. It is important to buy good quality shoes that fit well and that you keep in good condition with regular polishing. Let's take a look at some of the styles. We will start with the Oxford. The Oxford is typically your standard business shoe and is defined by the closed lace system. This means that the lace flaps are stitched at the bottom. The Oxford is considered the most formal of men's dress shoes. There are many variations of the Oxford and we'll review some of the toe styles shortly. The Derby or Bloucher, these are almost the same, so we'll use the terms interchangeably is very similar to the Oxford. The difference is its open lace system. The Derby is less formal than the Oxford and also has various toe styles. Next we have the Monk strap. This is defined by a leather strap that crosses the shoe. This strap replaces the laces of the shoe and may or may not be functional. Monk straps come in single or double, or in rare cases, three straps. The Loafer is a slip-on shoe with no laces or buckles. The loafer first appeared in the early part of the 20th century and can be dressy or sporty, depending on your look. The Chelsea boot is recognized by the elastic gusset or zipper on the side of the boot. These became most popular in the 1960s when the Beatles and other British bands wore them. Now let's look at the different styles of toes. Keep in mind there are an infinite number of variations. We'll just review some of the basics. First we have the plain toe. Typically, this is the most formal style and gives us a clean, modern look. A medallion toe is similar to a plain toe shoe, but has a decorative stitching or broguing on the toe. Broguing means there are tiny holes punched in the top of the toe of the shoe. The cap toe has a cap of reinforced leather on the shoe and are a very popular style. The apron toe can be recognized by the visible edges or stitching that finishes off the toe and forms a sort of apron along the front of the shoe. There is also a split toe apron, as we show here. The wingtip features a pointed toe cap that extends along each side of the shoe. To add a punch of color to your outfit, I recommend checking out our friends at StolenRiches.com. They make amazing colored shoelaces, and their family has been making laces for almost 100 years. Make sure you check them out. Thank you for joining us again this week. Make sure you check out the blog section of our site at Cuff4.com. This week we share with you a little bit more detail about some of the dress shoe styles and some tips on how to care for them. We'll see you here next week and don't forget to dress up the moment.